What's up, you two? Capital G here, looking at some brand new cards that have been revealed in the structure deck power code link. This is the newest structure deck, and probably the next structure deck that we're going to see. Actually, no, I think the, the fairy structure deck is the next one we're going to see, but probably the one after that. This will be in 2018, of course, in the TCG, and it's very interesting. Obviously, it's going to be um, somewhat cybers based because you know it has a talker monster right there on the front that is power code talk. We also know of another Cybers effect monster that has been revealed. And then there's a new trap that has some very explosive potential. So let's go ahead and look at this. I have no idea when we're going to get this. I think that is up to Konami and the TCG. So first card is Power Code Talker. It is a link three, of course. <clears throat> you could probably guess the stat line of 2300 because D Code Talker has that. I think X Code Talker does as well. I got all the Talker monsters pulled up. Yeah, all the uh, all the link threes have 2300 base attack, and you know usually their attack goes up based on uh, you know how many how many cards are in link with them or their effects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This guy requires three monsters on the field, so I mean that's pretty good because it means that you can indeed use tokens. It is fire attribute. It Appears that there is going to be a, a talker monster for every attribute. It says once per turn, you can target one face up monster. That monster's effects are negated until the end of the turn. This is really good. I think just being able to negate something could obviously set up for some really big plays and the uh, battle phase. And it actually can target your monsters as well. So if there's some reason why you need to like make your monster have no effect, maybe it's something random. Like uh, I know there's a couple of monsters in like trains that you can normal summon it, then it has like zero attack. So could be useful as kind of like a skill drain uh, type deal with that situation in that situation uh, but most of the time i assume you're going to be negating your opponent's monsters the second effect says once per turn during damage calculation when this card battles an opponent's monster you contribute one monster this card points to during damage during damage calculation only this card's attack becomes double its original attack so this guy will jump to 4600 to me this is kind of like a link version of utopia the lightning obviously there's a much bigger investment you can't like artificially rank it up using a whole bunch of utopias but being able to go to 4600 and negate a monster is kind of that's kind of powerful it is like not as good as utopia the lightning but it is pretty good because it does you know expand upon your field possibly whereas utopia the lightning uh would not be able to do that and it does require a tribute so again not quite as good as utopia the lightning but still pretty decent i think it's more of a do a bunch of damage card i still think that the original deco talker is the best so far um uh, but i do like the fact that this guy is basically generic then we have the trap. I'm going to go ahead and skip the monster for a quick second because the trap seems to be a little better uh, than the monster. This seems to be a card that could have some very explosive plays attached to it. So it's, it's called Packet Link Normal Trap. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. I think that that is for good reason. Uh, it says during your main phase, special summon any number of level two or lower monsters with different names from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So basically from anywhere <laughs> to zones your to zones on your field that link monsters point to now keep in mind it does not have to be your link monsters that point to those zones if your opponent's monsters point to those zones as well then you know those are zones that you can use that does seem very powerful i mean i think it kind of sucks the fact that you can only use it in main phase two and it is indeed a trap so it is super fucking slow don't get me wrong it's like a super super slow card but the fact is this does let you summon a ton of monsters but i mean this can get you five monsters potentially like that's strong and it gets them from the grave yard gets them from the deck it gets them from your hand like that's pretty damn powerful no life point attached or anything like that it's just a very very slow card even if you have maybe one or two link monsters on the field this is this could still get you three monsters on the board especially if your opponent has monsters too then the last card is um dongle acorn and this one is just and eh, i don't really think it's that good it has uh zero attack zero defense level one dark cyber type so i guess shout outs to one for one you can only use this card's name effect once per turn if this card is special summon you get the special summon one dongle token it is also um <laughs> it's also a cyber type that has the same stats as this dude and it's dark attribute uh level one and it says that uh that's pretty much it <laughs> so if you special summon it don't get me wrong obviously with konami giving cybers all this damn support there's going to be ways to activate this card i mean i, I guess that like the sole purpose of this card i think is just the link summon like what else is it really good for it has no stats and 
it's level one i mean these are the cards that make me wish crush card virus was like still a thing <laughs> like old crush card virus this would be like the perfect monster like oh i can't special summon it with uh one of the cards in my deck i can't one for one it all right i'll just set it and use crush card virus i mean it's an okay card i think it's only going to be good if you're playing a cybers deck that's pretty much it if you're using one for one it's probably better targets i guess you could one for one it in a link heavy deck and it would get two monsters out because you know it's a monster then it gets a token but that's pretty much it i guess in, in that sense okay maybe if you're running a link spam deck and one for one that can be where it works out but over i mean other than that I think you're only going to be playing this in like a Cybers Link Spam deck. So whatever you guys think, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you guys have not already. I'm interested in I'm interested in seeing what people think about this trap because I can definitely see this trap being extremely powerful in certain circumstances. And it does seem like one of those cards where the ceiling on the card is just going to go up and up and up and up and up because it's any level two or lower monster or any number of level two or lower monsters. Anyway, subscribe if you guys have not already and turn on those notifications for daily videos.